Hi guys, in this lecture we will talk about checkbox. I believe uh, you might have seen the checkbox before as well. Whenever we fill any form on the web, we get an option, right? Just accept the terms and conditions. So we get a checkbox there. Generally we accept that. So this is the bootstrap uh, website and I have just opened this website to show you if we have to design um, uh, something using the HTML, how we will design, what code we will require to write. So for the checkbox, this is the checkbox, right? will require to write this particular line this input class type checkbox will require to write uh, right and we'll give an id if we'll just get the value by this id in the javascript or jquery code we'll get true or false if it will be checked we'll get true if if it will not be checked it will get the false so let's see if we have to design uh, a checkbox using our systems how we can do so this is my OutSystem Service Studio. I have already created one application, created one module, and uh, created one screen as well. This is my screen. This is the checkbox widget that is, that is uh, available under the screen uh, widget toolbar, toolbox. So this is the checkbox widget. I will just drag and drop. Let's talk about the properties. Name. Name is simply name and ID of the checkbox. So when out systems compile this code, this name will be converted as the ID. You see this ID. It will be um, the, the ID, the name will be associated to the ID of checkbox. Variable. So this will be a Boolean type variable. Don't forget it. It will be a Boolean um, data type variable. Whenever we will select, so if it will, if the checkbox will will be checked the true value will be assigned to this particular variable whatever we will define here if it will be unchecked the false value will be um, just uh, um, um, uh, set here automatically enabled true and false if it is enabled it will be enabled if, if it is uh, false it will be disabled user will not be able to perform any action style class simple this is style by default it is checkbox here we have form uh, check input because this style class is associated to the bootstrap css out system has written uh, its own css right so as per the out system css we have a checkbox class if you want to apply more classes we can add the classes here attributes i have already shown we can define data or any other attributes on change if you want to perform any action when user perform the check and check operation we can handle this on on change event we can call anything whatever we want we can go anywhere else we can redirect to the another url we can call uh, any action and uh, apart from on change if we have to perform another action on a specific event for example when on blur on click on focus on key press on key up on touch start action uh, event uh, um, um, triggered what we want to do we can handle that inside the action what we define here so what I will do, I will just select this and on change event, I will just show what user has selected in a form of message. So we will require a variable. Obviously, it is giving the same error. You can see the error as well. The variable must be set. So right click and add a variable and check box value. Check box value. It will be a Boolean it, type of variable, not the text. So just give a description. Check box value and it will be a boolean type of variable we'll just go here i have just clicked and we'll just set the variable checkbox value now on change event we will handle that is not a mandatory event only with link and button we get the um, on click event as a mandatory so every time we have to handle that what needs to be performed when user clicked on the button but for the checkbox it is not mandatory if we want to handle we can so once we handle the uh, on click event, uh, it automatically uh, create the action. And here I can just show the value in the message. I can show the value of checkbox. So let me just show you. It is not giving a suggestion because in general message, this message accept a text variable or a text expression. We don't have uh, any text variable available. That's why it is not giving a suggestion. But we can select that under expression editor. Click here, like open expression editor. That is under the scope. We can click here. Now it will give uh, uh, true or false, whatever we select. So let's have a look. 
okay done let me open so i will just what i have done i have just clicked on this open in browser and it will open the application for me so you see this is my personal url so when you will click there it will redirect you to your personal environment url okay if i click it is giving me true false true false true false true false so based on this checkbox check uncheck event or check uncheck value we can we can do anything we can hide something show something or we can just uh, perform any action as per our requirement right so that's it it was just a simple use case how we can use the checkbox and uh, what is the properties of checkbox widget that's it guys that's it for this lecture thanks for watching